Make sure I charge my Garmin, make sure I've charged my lights Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving Nothing compares to the thrill, underprepared for the hills I used to get wheels on air, now I put air in my wheels Change that tune, train and cruise, chain's been lewd Pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack But then my pace improves, bars and cadence are strong Now my legs up, my cadence are long It's about time we do this, it's the cycling tattooist What is up guys, if you're new here, my name is Thomas Martinez and welcome to the channel and if you're a regular, then welcome back. Now it's the night before and we all know what that means by now. Yep, we've got something pretty epic on the cards. Now if you haven't seen any of the previous videos to this, I'm actually in Girona, which is in the north of Spain and one of the things that is very close to is the Pyrenees Mountains. So we figured, it would be rude not to go pay them a visit. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna be heading somewhere that is more known for its skiing than its cycling. And it's gonna be a pretty tough day on the bike. Anyways, I'm off to get myself a good night's sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, we are out on the road and what a morning it is. Look at that. As I mentioned last night, we have got a big, big day ahead of us. So we're just getting out of the city centre now. We're 10 miles into this ride right now. We've got a fair old way to go. The route we've got on the cars today is 134 miles and it racks up 10 and a half thousand feet of climbing in that distance. But the unique thing about this ride is all of the climbing is done within the first half of the ride. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, a bit spicy. An update, Tom's a great spoon. Ah, uh, yeah. his knees hurt, <laughs> but on the plus side, my shorts are see-through, so <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah, we've not had the smoothest of starts this morning, but we're on the road now. Hopefully we'll uh, keep up a half decent pace and uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll actually manage to get back before dark. Anyways, let's crack on with this ride. We have got one big mountain to get ourselves up. <laughs> Wish us luck. Let's go. Note to self, don't ride through fresh tarmac. <laughs> Now, according to the Garmin, we are currently on climb four of nine of the day. It's uh, not too bad of a one, this. We're actually almost approaching the top now. There's been a few small kind of undulating climbs on the way out to here. Then in about 15 miles or so, we've got the first substantial climb, which is uh, just over five miles long, which will pretty much serve as a nice warm up for the main event, <laughs> and it's gonna hurt. <laughs> the big boy one of the day is coming in 28 miles, and it's 14.3 miles long. <laughs> oh my God, that is definitely gonna hurt. There is no way you can sugarcoat that. It's gonna be painful, but it's all part of the fun, eh? <laughs> oh, just pull over and wait for the lads a minute. I think they're, uh doing the more sensible thing and conserving their energy. Here they are. <laughs> you really should come here. There's a lot of things to do here. <laughs> gonna drop them here. <laughs> now I have been pressing on a little bit on the climbs especially 
Um, one of the things, what with my new bike. Oh yes. If uh, any of you didn't see my uh, previous video about new bike day, then go check that out. Big shout out to Team Cycles, who I'm gonna be riding for for the foreseeable future. Oh, I still can't get over it. But yeah, anyways, one of the things with my new bike is I only took delivery of it two days before I came on this trip. So I haven't had time to dial it in exactly how I want it. And one of the things was it's come with a 1130 cassette, which isn't what I usually run. Um, and therefore it does mean I need to push on a little bit more on the climbs to uh, try and save my knees. Other than that, absolutely love the bike. It is a weapon. Hey, hey. There they are. But yeah, as I was saying, absolutely loving this thing. I, uh, yeah, I can't, I honestly can't believe how well I've sort of clicked with it straight away. It's like, <laughs> it's nuts. Like, especially on the descent here, like when you're hammering it down these massive long descents at, you know, 50 mile an hour, I just feel like, I feel at one with the bike. It's like, me and the bike are some weird conjoined twin. <laughs> so yeah, I can't really ask much more than that out of a bike. So a massive thank you to Team Cycles. And if you don't know who they are, then I suggest you go check them out. And next time you're thinking about doing an online order, then why don't you give them a go? Here we go, look at that. Woo! <laughs> the views are starting to get pretty good. Must only mean one thing. We're going up. We are now two hours, 45 minutes into this ride. We've clocked up 45 miles and just over 4,000 feet of elevation. So, uh, nice chunk done so far. Obviously, a lot more to go. But it is rather nice knowing that in about 20 miles or so, we will have knocked out pretty much all of the climbing for the day. It's almost all downhill on the way home, which is very rare that you get that. So I'm gonna uh, call it early and say, this is gonna be a pretty enjoyable day out on the bike. I'm having a great time already. And by the end of today, it means I'll have got to ticked off something off the old bucket list in that I've ridden up the Pyrenees. Happy days. Ah, oh, I love cycling. There you go, there's the sign, Volta 2000. That's, uh, well, I think that's the name of the mountain, I'm not sure. I think that might even be the name of the ski lift. We're just in the, uh, the, the foothills of the of Big Bertha right now. Garmin saying 13 and a half miles to go and uh, just shy of 4,000 feet of ascent. Woo! But yeah, right now, it's actually very enjoyable. Quite a mellow gradient, but things will get spicy very shortly. Good thing is, you know, the view from the top is gonna be, let's have it. Not far now. We've got 2.7 miles to go 
and only 928 feet of climbing. Woo! Oh, that last bit was a bit spicy, but now we've got a little bit where it eases off. And then the final punch to the top. Feeling good, Alex? Yep, not bad. He's still here. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah, I've been turning around a few times on the climb to get them shots for you. <laughs> so, uh, my time's obviously all messed up, so I've got nothing to prove. Just gonna cruise to the top. I think I've been averaging about 240 watts so far. So, a fair effort, but nothing crazy. Ah, we're here to enjoy ourselves, aren't we? <sighs> Not flog ourselves. Although you wouldn't think that by the sounds of me. Sound like I'm dying. Whew. Right, last push to the top. Let's go. Well done, man. Smashed it. Terrible. What is this? <laughs> yes, Ross. Did it. Did it, yeah. I've basically done the ride. Did it slow, but I did it. No, you don't. The ride's basically over now. <sighs> Proud of you, lads. Now for the fun part. I think that's the uh, bell for espresso. <laughs> ah, not really. <laughs> Hey! Go on, Ross. 106 miles in now, and Ross is official longest ride ever. But it's not over yet. <laughs> I think you're gonna break your record by quite a bit. We've had our head down, cracking on, because, well, I don't know if you can see the sky there. It's not looking too clever. We've been uh, cracking on, trying to uh, escape potential failure. So far, so good. So far, so good, yeah. But now we've said that, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> We're also approaching 10,000 feet of climbing for the day. So yeah, big old day today. The legs are feeling it, especially after a good few decent days on the bike. But it's all good fun. We've had a great time. But I must admit, all I can really think about right now is getting back to Drona and smashing the life out of some food. The great thing about doing a massive ride like this is we're probably gonna have burnt circa 5,000 calories today. So, well, you gotta put the calories back in, ain't you? <laughs> right. 
fried fuel right there. It's a bit weird to have ice cream and coffee together. Nah, <laughs> It seems we haven't escaped the weather. Then, know if you can see that on my glasses there. Yep, that's rain. Come to Spain, they said. We don't mind a few drops of rain when we've got views like that, though. Look at that. Not got far to go now. How far have we got? We've got about 20 miles. Or maybe just under, actually. So 18. I'm not... Huh? 18. 18 miles. Even better. Well, at the pace we've been going currently, probably looking at about an hour. Maybe a bit quicker if we're lucky. So that's it, done and dusted. What an absolutely mega day out on the bike. Even though we risked it with the weather forecast, it paid off because we managed to get the whole ride done, barely getting wet. <laughs> and it really, really was an amazing day out on the bike. So glad that I can now tick off something off the bucket list and say that I've ridden to the Pyrenees. The route itself was an absolutely incredible one. So if you're ever in Girona and you fancy a bit of a challenge, I definitely recommend that you check it out. As per usual, there'll be links in the description if you wanna do that exact route. So yeah, go check it out and get stuck in. I just wanna say a massive well done to the lads as well. I know they were struggling at times and Ross in particular, he managed to crack out his biggest day out on the bike ever so yeah absolute massive kudos to both of them anyways i'm going to leave this video here and unfortunately that is it from my time here in girona i have actually got something exciting to share with you though so i've decided that i'm not actually going to be flying straight home from here i'm actually going to be traveling to portugal next and i cannot wait i've heard nothing but great things about portugal and the cycling there now i am actually meeting my missus there and it is more more of a holiday for us two to be honest but of course I am going to be taking my bike with me so I'll definitely be squeezing in at least a couple of rides and I'll definitely take you guys along for the ride so don't worry about that anyways I think that's enough from me so next time you see me I'll be in sunny Portugal anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time